Hello and welcome back to another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. You might think it's awesome being a kid with rich parents. You get all the stuff you want, your own room with loads of cool stuff, all those holidays. But although those things are great, it does create a problem when it comes to interacting with the real world. If you live your life being constantly rewarded for even the most minor achievement, you're probably going to think you're a bit smarter funnier and charming than you really are. So today we're looking at the top 10 ridiculous rich kids. You don't need to be rich to subscribe to the daily top 10s, but if you would like to be part of our luxury service, then use your pure gold gloves whilst pressing the subscribe button. Number 10. Ethan Couch Ethan Couch killed four people when he drove home drunk and high in 2013. There was no escaping the facts, but, as you probably know, normal rules don't apply to rich people, especially when they can afford the kind of legal magic that mystifies us all. Ethan was only given 10 years probation for manslaughter, so he didn't have to serve any jail time. His lawyers successfully argued he suffered from affluenza. This made-up condition meant he had been raised in such a privileged environment that he didn't know right from wrong. And if you thought this incredible escape would have taught him a lesson, well, it didn't. He and his mum tried to skip bail to Mexico. He was caught and put in prison for two years. Number 9. Berra This young man from Georgia has a very interesting background. If you thought it wasn't enough to be an albino rapper musician who's successful in his second language, well, he only got there thanks to his powerful father. Bidzina Ivan Ishvili started life in poverty as a factory cleaner. He slowly built a business empire in the old Soviet Union and is now one of the richest people on the planet, worth about $6.4 billion. He built a James Bond mansion on a hill overlooking the city and even kept a pet shark in the pool. He bought Berra his own TV channel, among other things. This probably helped with Berra's career as well. Just go listen to a song or two and make up your own mind. Number 8. Paris Hilton Well, we had to include her, didn't we? Born to the incredibly rich and influential Hilton family, owners of those hotels you can't afford to stay in, Paris is described as a businesswoman, designer, DJ, actress, model, singer and television personality. The last one is definitely true. Her big leap to fame was in the MTV reality show The Simple Life, although skeptics would say that it was her performance in the bedroom movie One Night in Paris that was probably the biggest boost. Number 7. Lana Scolaro London's Lana Scolaro is one of many, many rich kids who take to Instagram to share their luxurious lifestyle. She regularly blows £15,000 a month on luxury shoes, clothes and helping poor people to… <laughs> just joking, just the shoes and the clothes. She shot to fame when she posted a picture with Robin Thicke, which looked innocent at first, but the mirror behind showed he thought she was some kind of glove puppet. Hands to yourself, Robin. Thicke is a fellow rich kid, by the way. Both parents were prominent TV personalities. Number 6. Prince Mahed bin Abdullah bin Abdulaziz Al Saud If your name was that long, you probably have a license to go a little crazy. But Prince Mahed didn't just get up to the usual royal hijinks of racing fast cars and marrying not-so-distant cousins. In fact, the man is a full-blown psychopath. While in LA, he guzzled cocaine, liquor and escorts like he was Tony Montana, apparently screaming, I am a prince and I do what I want. He also allegedly sexually assaulted a number of people in the mansion, including a male aide, which would definitely be delightful news back home. Number 5. Julius Stankiva this Ukrainian 24-year-old says she didn't realise she was privileged until she went to university in London, which takes some spectacularly bad parenting and the rosiest of rose-tinted glasses. The daughter of billionaires, she got her first Louis Vuitton handbag at the age of nine. 
This has now grown into a wardrobe worth a few million dollars. And now that she's realized she's privileged, she, well, she's apparently done nothing with that information. It might be an interesting fact she tells people when she flies back to Moscow just to get her hair cut. Number 4. David Cameron the British Prime Minister who led Britain into the Brexit referendum will more than likely be remembered for the rumour that he put his own Prime Minister, as he calls it, into a dead pig's mouth just to get into an infamous university group called the Bullingdon Club. They are famous for destroying restaurants and bars before simply throwing money at the problem to make it go away. And like with the Porky rumour, they had rather extreme initiation rules. Fellow Conservative politicians Boris Johnson and George Osborne were also part of the club. Number 3. Swiss Teen Car Fire The problem with giving your child everything they want is that it's impossible. They'll just keep setting the bar higher. So when a Swiss teenager found out that his 2012 Ferrari 548 was not enough to swap for the 2015 model, he decided to find another way. And rather than just using some of his $30 million property portfolio or $10,000 monthly allowance from his parents, instead he paid his friends $15,000 apiece to torch the car so he could claim the insurance. He had 14 other cars. He only had to pay a $32,000 fine. We're sure he was devastated. Number 2. Ronald Coyne Ronald was walking home in full black tie after a party. It was his first year at Cambridge University. A homeless man asked him for some change, so he reached into his pocket, but... Just pay some change, please, sir. He says, oh, let me see what, what I've got. He said, oh, yeah, he pulled out a 20 pound note, put it, gone like that, but I'd pass it. I thought, I couldn't believe my luck, you know what I mean? And then um, he's gone, oh, no, hang on, pulled it back, and then he's lit it, burnt it, and he said, how's that for change? I've changed it into flames. <laughs> so, how did you feel about that? Absolutely disgusted, you know what I mean? Rather than pulling out a few loose coins, his hand emerged with a crisp £20 note. As he moved to give it to the excited homeless man, he then raised his other hand and set the note on fire. People like this exist. There's no hope. Number 1. Donald Trump We're not saying he was born privileged. He was just alternative poor. It's wrong, isn't it? 19 trillion going to 21 trillion, not billion. We have trillions. Thanks for watching another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. And remember, it's our duty to entertain and yours to subscribe. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the White House News Conference. Good to see you all here. And yes, it is. Uh, Emily from Fake News. Good to see you, Emily. And of course, uh, David from the Daily Mail. Just as fake news. You, you know it. Look, the White House and Trump especially would like to uh, let the world know of his favorite YouTube channel, which is called Daily Top Tens. Yes. Boring. Look, shut up, Kimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Little Kimmy. Mm. Look, the president believes that every member of the world, and especially the US of A, should be subscribed to this channel. It's very important. Due to his passion and commitment to signing up every citizen to daily top tens as part of Trump Care, the president will, effective immediately, right now, yes, be passing a new bill to make this law. The bill is as follows I, Donald J. Trump, Hereby order all my people of the U.S. of A's to, with immediate effect, subscribe to Daily Top Tens. The, this will strengthen the economy by giving us things to watch at work, improve our corrupt education system by giving kids the opportunity to watch uncorrupted videos, uh, to watch about random crap, and uh, keep the elderly entertained with uh, videos that make no sense at all. Yes, uh, yes. You. When will this bill take effect, and what are the penalties for those who do not obey the rules? Look, uh, now, Donald J. Trump vows that uh, those who do not subscribe lose all internet connection, 
and access to YouTube with immediate effect. Powerful stuff. Look, thanks for listening to the White House Fake News team. Good night and subscribe.